All right, hey everybody. So uh, I just wanted to check out this game. Uh, I'm kind of just chilling tonight. Uh, we have TCG Card Shop Simulator. Um, it's like a trading card game uh, simulator, obviously. Pretty self-explanatory. Oops, cut my day job to open a little card game store. This is it, let's get down to it. My card shop. Mm. Wheeling and dealing. That's probably pretty terrible. Whatever. Open phone, stock up on card packs. So anyway, um, it's a cheap little game. It's in early access on Steam, but it has a pretty amazing hook to it. The fact that you get to open up card packs in mass with digital money is um, amazing because if you're into Magic the Gathering or Pokemon or I don't, I'm not even sure how many of these trading card games there are now, but if you're into that and you've ever gone through the, you know, the nostalgia of it, then you know the feeling of opening card packs and getting rare cards. Um, so <clears throat> I just restarted. I played for about 20 minutes uh, just to figure out what I'm doing so I don't look like a total idiot. Anyhow, let's get to it. Open phone, stock up on cards. I'm gonna buy some card packs. I'll go ahead and buy four. <laughs> There's that. Open the box and stock the shelves with a bunch of cards. Mm -hmm. Throw that away. Let's bring these inside. Set a price for the cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and be a little greedy at first. There we go. Uh, then we'll turn it on. <clears throat> I'm gonna sort of skip ahead. Oh, I can't do this yet. Okay, I'll play along. do anything yet okay all right all right oh he's getting greedy let's go buddy boom 15 packs oh, i wish there you go buddy have a good one what's up my friend getting some packs of cards because that's all you can do he said fair price I was charging less, or I think I was charging more last time. There you go. 39 bucks profit already. Fair price for a basic card pack. This is fine. Fair price. I'm buying a whole bunch of them. Wow. I'm selling good this time. 16. So I guess eventually you can actually play this game. Or there I don't know if that's actually set up in this version yet or or not, but um I'm not sure how you do that. I'm actually just interested in this the shop aspect of it is super fun. Sometimes playing a shop uh shopkeeper is just a really relaxing uh I just find it really relaxing. It's a chill way to play a game. I'm not really into Pokemon or uh, I think it's, this is called Terramon, but there's 
There's another. I know there's another like a, a Digimon. I think is what it is. Anyway, I played Magic: The Gathering multiple times in my life. Gotten in and out of that. If this was a magic game or a magic shop, that'd be just incredible to me. But this is pretty cool anyway. Um, in a minute, we'll get some people come in here and they'll play each other. Even though I can't play. And I just love the idea that you can just go rip the cards off the shelf and open a pack. That's, that's just, that's the whole, I think that's really the whole entire game. And then you get this. Ooh, boom, I got a cool one. I got a rare one. Draw one card, fire element deals 30. <coughs> <coughs> 30 extra damage this turn. They seem to have a attack, a defense, a health, and I'm not sure what the boss skull means. Uh, off the top of my head. I like that that's nice and easy, clean change. Uh, or earlier before I had to count out the quarters and shit, that was so annoying. Boom, here's your dollar. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. So we're already back over the thousand that we started with. We have cleared a profit, plus we have all these packs of cards. That's what I call success. <clears throat> Opponent discards one card at random. See, this doesn't make any sense if that is a card that you play and it stays down and you attack with it, or if play effect, it probably just does that when you play the card. I mean, tabletop card games are really not that complicated. Oops, I went too fast. There we go. Just a beefy, beefy anglerfish. Anglerfish. Yeah, I highly recommend rounding off so you don't have to count the change because this is so much faster. See, soon enough I'll be able to sit down and just open this entire box. <laughs> that entire box will just be mine. <laughs> oh, that'll be so cool. I could already do that now, actually. Uh, I'll take these for myself. Hold on, fellas. I need to open these up. Shield, add extra damage, draw one card, comments. <clears throat> water damage, destroy one opponent field card with water element 20 or less. <clears throat> Where's a water element on the card? Uh, I really am not sure if you're supposed to understand this game. It probably doesn't need to make any sense right now. Uh, I, I don't think that they ever actually have to make a, uh, a playable game. That is in the roadmap, but I'm not sure if they really need to bother. Uh, loop up. Destroy one opponent field card with fire element 20 or less. It looks like he's got good attack and defense. Uh, Sedant. Oh, that was a pretty valuable pack. There we go, 26. I see this line. There's a line. I can't open these with a line. It's just 
Not who I am. Let's go. Let's go. Those are some pretty shitty uh, packs there. Buy a table and put it in the shop. So we want to put a play table in the shop. And let some customers play on it. Uh, we want to set an event. We'll just do the average. Confirm the event there. What up, buddy? How's it going? Looking for some card sleeves today. That's cool, they can go sit down at the table and unwrap all their cards and sit down and play. They don't really do anything other than this, but they do have cards in their hand and the cards show stuff, that's cool. Kind of simulate that they're playing a game and yeah, they gesture back and forth, cool, cool. What's up, babe? How's it going? Oh, thank you very much. Yep, she goes to see what they're up to. Yeah, that's cool. Get a little gathering. Get a whole bunch of tables together. Um, they said on the roadmap, there's like tournaments. Is it here? Yeah, here you go. Uh, sell shelves, custom review, organized tournaments, random events. Uh, more product types down the line, more TCG types. If they could add Magic the Gathering to this, that'd be amazing. Uh, more shelf and table types, playable game, decorations, greeting card, difficulty mode. I'm not sure where they are on that roadmap, but the game runs really well. Like, it's, it's, I, it, you can't really go anywhere. There's nowhere, you can't go further than that crosswalk right there and it cuts you off at like that that tree that uh that walkings that orange sign yellow sign right down there you can't go any further than that so it's just people coming down the street to come in and out of the shop <clears throat> let's speed this up Get another table. Blech. There you go. Uh oh, he's stinky. Oh, gross. We all know that guy. <laughs> oh, I remember the the little time that I was playing Magic. I did go to a couple of tournaments at a card shop, and there was a guy that wore a kilt. <laughs> we called him Kilt Guy because he wore that nonstop all the time, and he was. This dude right here. He was stinky. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious. Oop. All elemental damage. 10 extra damage this turn. Draw a card. Opponent cannot evolve next turn. That's good. I'll bet you at this point, there's not even, like, Evolve is not even a, um, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's, like, not even a skill or ability that you can do. Draw cards, obvious. Extra elemental damage is obvious. They don't have any elemental damage listed on these. I'm going to go ahead and guess that at this point, these cards don't really represent anything other than just a card and pictures and you know stats that we all recognize it's instantly recognizable as a card game 
Uh, but I don't think there's any balance or rules put into it. Stinky buddy! I'm glad you bought a bunch of shit. That's good. That's usually why stinkies are allowed to come around. They buy stuff. Alright, we're closed. Good night. Have a good night. See you later. Enter for the next day. Two dissatisfied customers. Play time. Or play hour. Six hours. Game earning. Item earning. Card earning. Revenue. Upgrade costs. We lost money. Because we had to upgrade something. What would I upgrade? Supply cost. Well, we still got all these things. Um, what's the matter? Oh, we are open for the day. What's up, bro? Getting at it early this morning, huh? the boxes nice there we go let's get um i'm gonna get two boxes because there's a delivery fee and i don't want to pay a ton of delivery fees Is that a good price? I think that's a good price. I'm just putting some stuff up here. All right, I think I want to go ahead and get. I want to wait till it's actually my job to do that. Sometimes these games in early access get a little buggy on you. So if you get ahead of the actual like. Um, the tutorial or the task of what it's telling you to do, you can get yourself into trouble. This costs 30 bucks. Yeah, I was thinking that might be the... And like all of us, you don't have a choice. You're gonna buy it. You came to buy it, you're gonna buy it. Well... How's your game going, guys? Who's winning? My money's on glasses. Yep. Uh, well, we don't, we don't know. Didn't tell ya. Oh, I missed that we have gotten to the next thing. Card table for 400. Yes, sir. Oh, I wish. So now I have a card table. I can take my cards and put them on for sale. Makes me want to start ripping packs open. Things are starting to heat up a little bit. Put 10 cards on the shelf. Still going. Sell 10 carts.
Doom, doom. Yes, yeah, so expensive. That's right. I really jacked up the prices on those. This is cool. That's all. That's all pressure. Pressure. Ooh, let's gather around the stinky guy. Make him feel bad for stinky. Why are you so stinky? Ew. No sale. Dang, son. You no good, nothings. Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> it's a good way to get some business, right? What's he say? Too expensive? Just cards. Just card pack. One card pack. It's because I called those two guys stinky, right? <laughs> nothings. Whatever. Whatever. Go away, dude. See, it's just a chill vibe. I'm really glad they had it, at least to this point, where you could uh, just chill and watch these guys, you know, just sit at the counter and just, you know, hanging out. Three bucks, this is fair, okay, cool. It's too stinky, I know. That guy's just, ooh, look at this. Good luck, sir. May you find good fortune in those packs. Those guys are done. Yeah, get your stinky ass out of here. Did you just come straight from the gym? He just came straight from the gym, didn't he? Didn't shower. That's my brother. I remember my brother. We'd go play volleyball, and then he'd go straight from volleyball straight to his job. And I'm like, you're not going to go clean up some? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. What's up? Hey, how's it going? She could come straight from the gym and I'd be fine with it. <laughs> Man, she's loading up. Yes, yes. Get some custom cards. Nope, too expensive. I'm going to have to lower the price on all those. Wow. Hello. Look at what this chick's got loaded up. She is not messing around. Boom. Thank you very much. And then she's going to probably kick this guy's ass. <laughs> Yep, they're not happy with those prices over there.
Ah, no, no. Let's close it. Yep, sorry buddy, we're closing up. Have a nice night. Upgrade cost, 550. That's ongoing every day? You're gonna make more than 500 bucks and the supply cost is... Is that what I paid for packs and stuff? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sell 10 cards. Oh, hey, we're open. Come on back in, lady. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I didn't open a box. <laughs> Dig it. I was going to open a box last night. And now he's taking it. Oh, that was my box. Whatever cards you get should have been mine. Oops, she's like in that uh, muffin basic foil card. Sweet, thank you. Bless me. <laughs> thank you much. Thank you, thank you. What's up, buddy? There's a good variety of people, too. cards. Ooh, three foil cards. Sweet. I'll mark those up like crazy. I bet you if you... Yeah, I bet you you could like mark stuff up really well during uh, tournament things. Um, when you have your shop is like really po popular for a day. When everybody's just coming in just to watch because there's like a big event. Warehouse shell. Auto scent. Oh, I'm jealous. This guy gets to open a whole box and he gets a little, a little special card. He's going to add that into his sleeve and add it into his deck. I kind of am getting super nostalgic. I remember putting my decks into sleeves and then making new decks and just trading it all up. 
Stiff was so expensive though. Oh my god. Four figures for freaking cards. Drains 20% of damage dealt this turn. Ooh, 22 bucks. Tetron. All elemental damage. 10 extra damage this turn. Oh, hey, whoa, whoa. Stay off the side of the counter, my friend. There's actually price tags for individual cards. Whoa, one card can be worth twelve hundred bucks. Six hundred dollars. Pygmy EX common foil card, and this one has like no border on it. Oh, I miss card games. This is a brilliant, brilliant hook. It's it's honestly it's a brilliant I don't even need to have any attachment to these cards at all. Just the idea of all these rarities and foil cards, it is, it, it's something we, all of us love to do and can't afford. So look at all these cards. All these different rarities. <sighs> Oops, sorry. I'm really curious how big the shop can get. I, I'm for some reason uh, just the way this is I'm looking at this white bar that goes all the way across here and I'm betting that this entire room opens up at least I'm hoping it does that'd be really cool if it could get that big <laughs> alright let's go ahead and do a little um See, I don't want to upgrade. Ooh, I can get the rare pack. I want to do that. I want to add one rare to the cart, and I need two boxes. Let's do that.
There with that. That's what I'm talking about, my man. <laughs> End of the night. Probably just a little tournament. He's buying a box and a special card. That, I remember doing that. <laughs> Although, when I bought a box of magic cards, it was like $200. <laughs> These, bo oh, I just got those in. He bought all four boxes. Stinky. Oh, we love Stinky, don't we? Don't we just, don't we always love Stinky? He comes and he buys a bunch of cards and then he goes. Thank you, thank you, Stinky. I literally just bought those and brought them in. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put these guys. Um, how do I clear? Remove label. There we go. Open box. There we go. Let's see what these guys got. Let's try a couple of these. Three of these rare packs. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of these are new. They're all new. Every single one of those was new. Are there literally just a bunch of different Trade twenty percent damage this turn. Draw one. Destroy one card on opponent's field. That's pretty powerful. Water does sixty. Opponent cannot evolve for two turns. There is a complexity to this that I didn't expect. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. Create a shield. Block forty damage. Wind elements deal thirty extra. Ooh, nice. Eleven bucks. A six bucks and a one bucks. And all of those were new, every single one. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, went over two more. It's so addicting. It's so addicting. What's in the next pack? I want to open another pack. Bam, $24 for the beak eye. Opponent discards one card at random and draw one. Looks like it's got good attack. And who doesn't love a little aggressive out? All right, let's go ahead and see what the next day has. Nine dissatisfied customers. Probably because of the stinky. Upgrade cost is only $300, so we actually turned a profit. All right, game earning. Wow, that actually turns a lot throughout the day. That's the people playing games at the tables. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Cards sold nine. Played game, bought card. Check out. All right. Um, oh, I need to price tag for this guy. We're going to go four bucks. Make a dollar seventy per. Make a dollar forty five each on these. Wow. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up, dude? Two custom cards. There we go. Successfully complete 100 checkouts. Let's buy two rare packs. 
Alrighty. Looks like I'm going to have to stock up some more. Need a whole bunch of packs. What's the cleanser do? Some of these games, they don't really explain much. Oh, let's go D DC Blue. A hundred bucks for 16, man. They're $10 each. That's how much I paid in real life. Deck box eight, license. Uh, what is the deck box? Deck box green, blue. Deck box blue 16, license. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff. There is a lot of stuff going on. I'm just gonna buy these right now. Here we go. Close that. Sorry, dude. Sorry. The silver edition. I don't know why I'm like when I when I this guy buys a card, I'm like, ooh, which one did you buy? <laughs> There's something so so attached to this this feeling. The simple I'm standing against a wall <laughs> with this little simple counter, just checking people in and out, and they play the game. I actually really like that. I don't want to mess with it. I just want to play the shopkeep. Oh, dude, you're leaving? No, well, that's... That's a dissatisfied customer right there. He doesn't like that everything's rounded off. He knows that there's inflated prices everywhere. Ah, smart man. Smart man!
Ooh, ooh, she's going in today. Getting herself a card box and a loop up X. Running it up on the credit card. She's a student, that's daddy's credit card. She's not gonna pay for that. Man, those common packs suck. Now I'm starting to see how this works. You don't get anything in there. This guy knows what's up. He's like, give me them rare packs. I need them rare packs. Give me the good stuff. Didn't I buy something else? Oh, I unlocked those two packs, but I didn't buy anything. So those go on the shelf. Uh, and it's not even an open box, you moron. You can do it here. Okay. And it holds more stuff. I just skip past some good stuff there. Not that good. Bam! Sedant. $94 for this bad boy. Earth Elemental uh, Gold Edition. I think it's just the rarity of the card. Isn't it so stupid the way we fall in love with these card games and it's like they literally just print a card that's not that good in a rare form <laughs> and we freak out about it. Oh my god, look at this one, it's all shiny. <laughs> of course we gotta put that guy in the middle, or in the window I mean. Right in the middle of the window, sure. Oh, over hundred. Hundred. 125 for that bad boy. Let's go for it. It's probably way too much money. Yeah, that's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Look at this. Six people on screen. 
and the shop owner. Seven people in this small little place. There's definitely more. I like how the tables fill up at night. When you go to turn on the lights, then the, the tables fill up. That's really cool. I'm gonna hit a couple rare packs. Okay, fine. No, I gotta do it. I'm addicted. I want a rare pack. Boom! That's why. That's why. That's what I'm talking about. We got ourselves another big old foil card. And you know, if you had a shop, this is a whole new take on it, right? I'm I'm talking for you, but for me, I've always, you know, seen the rarity of the card based on how useful the card is to me in the deck. If you're a shop owner and you were doing it this way, you're like, this is just like a lottery. You're just playing scratch offs. You just open these packs and then put them on the shelf, just like right there. That one card pays for three or four packs, and if you have a wholesale license, it pays for like six packs. You open up six packs and you get a, a whole bunch of new cards. And it's just this endless cycle of profit. You think, it, you know, that's the dream. I would never do it. All the money's gonna go to whoever's uh, owning this shop. Not the shop, the, uh, the lease person who owns this building is leasing out that that space they're always going to be the winner they will always be the winner enter next day i don't want to open this box kind of want to open that box All right, buddy, it looks like no one's coming. this upgrade cost what is that what am I upgrading that costs that much money we're open come on in bam 8 a.m. three people line up I think the words got now it's the place to get your cards. Ooh, yeah, that's what's up. Put it on my card. She's addicted. She's not even looking me in the eye. She won't even look up at me. She's like, ah, oh, just take my money. That's that feeling when you're like, just take my money. Don't even look at me. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to be myself right now. Just take my credit card. <laughs> What's up, honey? How's it going? Ooh, I need to restock the shelves. It's looking pretty sparse over there. We need uh, more sleeves, more rare packs, and more boxes. And I might as well grab some of those um, red things, whatever the heck that is. I'm still not sure. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So we needed um, boxes. I'll add boxes. We need more rare packs. Two rare packs. And then I wanted... Uh, more sleeves and then um, the blue dice 
Jeez, 150 bucks for blue dice. That is so much money. And what was this? Uh, I need 124 for that too. I can't afford all that. Jeez. All right, let's do this. I am so into this game right now. Boom, 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 boom. <sighs> so weird, you can't put anything on the top shelf of that shelf. Maybe there's certain things that go on the top shelf. Looks like it just holds three things though. We bought the gold Lunite Gold Edition and the do. Um, oh shoot! I didn't set a price for the. Um, uh, it was market price thirteen. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to fifteen bucks because they were like nine eighty eight up. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this guy ripping me off. They were $9.88 a piece to buy, and he's buying them for $9.44. Ooh, I just screwed myself. Oh, this jerk off. <laughs> you jerk. He got me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, we're looking all sparse on this. See, I think it's cool. You actually need to um, open packs or you're not going to have a bunch of stuff for sale here. See how many new cards there are. Just go. The opponent cannot evolve. Mm -hmm. I'm going for it. I want the box. Open a card box. Oh, it's just six packs. Whoa. Looked like a fancy one there at the end, but not worth anything. Oh, there's a good one. Boom, another good one. Cards for the shelf. One second, sir. I see you've got a card selected. I'll be with you in one moment. I cannot back out of this mode. It'd be so weird. Actually, you know what? I'd be, I'd be, in, I'd be cool with it. I'd be like, yo, what'd you get? <laughs> Unless you're opening like 20, 30 packs. They're nothing really special. Oh, one more. Nothing. Jeez, that was a big box of nothing. Straight up gambling, y'all. This is actually, you know, this game, this is brilliant. It's not only nostalgic and fun, but it will eventually save people thousands of dollars, potentially thousands of dollars, hundreds for sure. 
so many people will do this and, and then see the odds and be like, that's just not worth it. That guy knows what he's doing. Boom. Two boxes and some booster packs. Two boxes is not enough. I need more. I need extra booster packs on top of that. Alrighty, buddy. You guys are at the wrong table. Connect. Sit together, play the game. Oh, here we go. Mm, boom and boom. It's such a chill feel. Got my cards over there that I've earned and bought. Got some people coming in to visit. It's nice party time. Yes, buy some stuff. Buy some stuff, good sir. There you go. Oh, he's buying it. He's buying that number one biggest drop I've got. You're all into it, huh, buddy? Take my card. Look at how he bows his head. So just, just take, just take, just take my money. Just take my money. And we got another thirty dollars silver edition foil. Nighttime, when the tournaments come out. That is, that is when the big money comes. That's when the people spend, huh? All right. Let's see if we can figure this out better here. Let's uh, get this up. There. We'll keep these down here. And let's do this guy over here. I'll let them finish up their game. I'm not a cruel monster. I'm not no monster. Jeez, guys, come on now. supposed to buy the things that have gone up hmm. 
Oh, they're gone. All right. Um, let's go ahead and just put this guy right up in the corner there. It's not realistic that they can get in and out, but I don't care. That's their problem. I always hated that, though. I like, squeeze behind people. It's terrible. Go ahead and close up shop and hit the next day. Eight dissatisfied people. I'm curious if that's because of smell or money. They probably don't like the price tag. So upgrade costs. What did I buy? I did spend 200 on another table. And then supply costs is probably the amount that I spent on new cards and stuff. But that's not. That money doesn't add up. So there's some sort of cost going on. I did actually make money. 158 for that day. Need better cards. And that was actually, so the profit I made was the, the big ticket cards that I sold. Interesting. Yes, yes, take one of those, take some of those. 572. We're just about done with this task. This guy's got some money. Ooh, buddy. Big money right in the morning. Hell yeah, look at these guys. Good luck with those packs. And enjoy your D&D game. Oh, he's gonna go bust out those dice. First roll right there. Here, I'll get a roll. Here's a roll. A nine. Not a great roll for the first D20. Hello, sir. Good morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So cool. We got some money in now. Um, I'm betting you it's going to tell me to upgrade the shop and expand. That's what I really would like to see. A little, it's a little tight in here. Boom. Uh-oh, no more tasks. You're on your own. All right, cool, because I can I could take it from here, which makes me go. What is this? Reno Big, Retail Shop Renovation, Shop Lot B, 5,000 bucks to unlock the next shop. What does Shop Expansion 1 do, though, for 300? We'll take it. I see a little cubby that opened up over there. So we got this bit opened up. Okay. All right. Card table. I could get another card table. Warehouse shelf. I'm thinking this auto scent is probably a pretty good buy. Uh, workbench. What do I do at the workbench? Checkout counter. I would need a, another checkout counter. Oh, that's right. There's dudes recruiting. Shop level 10. You can hire a guy to check out for you. 50 bucks a day. That's cool. That's cool. Hi, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting a little uh, lost in my own world here. These guys are starting to bring up some cash.
Mm-hmm. People are rolling through now. And we're almost out of packs. Oh my lord. Packs, uh, regular comments, and then I've got these pairs. I need uh, common packs and boxes. She didn't like that that was four bucks, okay. What's four bucks? She bought it anyway. What you bitching for then? Okay. Uh, let's go with... Huh. What is the point of unlocking this box cart? It's just more... Like, these don't change the unit price at all. Less shipping, probably. Cheaper shipping. Let's go with some of these. I don't even know what this is. Boom. Place is full. <laughs> you sure, dude? You sure about your purchase? Oh, he's getting a he's getting a little knocky first edition too. Mm, 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 mm. Twenty three packs. That's that's what I like to see, buddy. That's what I like to see. That's hitting it hard. Find those without me setting a price. What is the price? This place stinks. Yep, I need to figure out how to stop the stinky. Dice much? My goodness.
Oh, he's buying the $91 Frizzard Gold Edition Foil. What's up, my man? You have got some excellent taste, good sir. One twenty-two thirty. dollars Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You are single-handedly funding an expansion. Not really. Not really. Not quite. We do need to upgrade our uh, uh, personal selection, so I need to do some cards. Let's get some cards. This game is so relaxing and fun. It is easy and simple and just super chill. What is in that box? What is in this box? That's what I thought. Soon as these losers get out of my shop, we can open some packs. Yeah, that's right. I called you losers. Oh, it's horrible. But if you sleeve up your cards, you're probably not a loser. Good for you. What's up, bro? How's it going? I want to see what's in these three. foil oh Well, I really should call it and go to bed. I'm slowing down. Auto scent.
All right, buddy. It's time to go. Still got two boxes out here. Probably don't want to be forgetting about those. I was just thinking I need to order more boxes. All right, buddy. Time to set up the next day. Only eight cards sold. Still making most of the money through item sales. People are buying packs, packs, packs. We made good money that day. Shoot. What's up, gents? Ooh, he's going for a card right off the bat. And a box. And some sleeves, it looks like. And saunters on over. Boom, boom. It's cool that I can actually see what he got. This game is not, it's not nothing. It's actually, it's actually on its way. If they can implement some more like interactive stuff, actually, no, nah, I'm, I'm not even gonna say that. This is actually just really fun to do. Nice and chill. Hmm. Thousand bucks. Got the stocked shelves. I need another. I need everything. I need uh, another card table. Need another table for them to play at. I need another table. What is that? Uh, where's that one? This one. Can I get this? I can get this. Small card display. Let's get a fancy card display. How do I set their price? This is not for sale stuff, is it? This is just for me to show off.
Nice purchase. Nice purchase. in the blue box the deck box blue and I'm not even sure what is my profit margin there thanks guys kicking ass Ding. Boom, boom, boom. What's up, people? There's a steady flow of people coming through here now. What's up, bro? What's up? $60. Ooh, it's one of those no frame ones. Play effect, water element, damage, 30 extra damage this turn. Basic card with no frame. We got a no frame rip. I think you gotta keep on steady amount of like opening the card packs. I think that's actually what the main part of the game is. Leveling up is going to be about these packs and getting rare cards. <laughs> and steady flow of like 30, 40, 50 bucks of profit here and there, but. <laughs> Screw that one up. See, yeah, look at this. It, I didn't even notice. It doesn't take very long until the stack is gone.
go through the box. We're going for a whole box. Bam, there's one. 65 bucks for a goopy. That does pay. So it's 65 bucks for that one right there. That pays for four. Or, um, sorry. <laughs> that pays for the 55 bucks for the box. Sorry, four boxes. I don't know why I can't say that. See, that's why I should have stopped streaming. I'm getting tired. But I'm having fun. This game is actually a lot of fun. So I need rare cards. I need dice and rare box, blue boxes, whatever that is. I need another um, small cabinet. Can I get another small personal shelf? Double-sided shelf. Not big enough for that yet. Let's go ahead and get another one of these. The lady is stinky? Lady, come on. And what is, how do I, how do I do this? Oh, turn it on. Refill with cleanser. Ah, that's what cleanser is. Try to get these stinkies out of here, right? We got to get the stinkies. Clean up the stinkies. Man, this lady knows how it is. She can't shower for shit, but... She definitely knows how to buy her card stuff or card game stuff. Um, all right, I need I need to do a purchase here. I need to do a... Uh, oh boy, I need a lot. All right, let's do one, two, we'll do one box here. We'll do one box here. We'll do, ooh, I need two rares. I think I should do two rares, but I don't have enough. Can't do any of these yet. Accessories. We'll do one cleanser. We might as well do one of those. Let's go back with um, more blue dice. Everybody likes blue dice, apparently. And this time we'll do the red box. And that's basically as much as I can afford. Pay bills. Uh-oh. Shit. Rent is accumulated each day depending on the size of the shop. Due in two days. Shit. Didn't see that coming, did I? <laughs> Oops.
Oh! $1,200 upgrade costs. What the hell? <laughs> 